Yeah, we've 80, 80 heifers there and they're coming in the heat strong, very strongly. We've 25 served there already. We're going to AI for, because um, I'm building numbers, so I want to get as many in calf to Frisians as I possibly can. So we'll AI for six weeks anyway. Um, have a Hereford bull there to clean up, but uh, we're looking for very good submission rates there and we, um, uh, we're on target there, like in the three and four there, bulling every day. So. We should uh, hopefully get a lot of them in the six weeks. I had a very compact calving this year, so uh, due to the fact I bought in calf heifers and bought them to calve early, so I wanted to keep, I could see the, the benefits of that having a compact season there. So I wanted to, if, if at all possible, keep that going forward for the next year, this coming year. Well, the three, they're on three kilos of 14% uh, Glambia nut there at the moment. Um, I'll keep it up certainly up to the, probably for the next two, three weeks at the three kilos just while they're coming around in, into heat. I'll, no, I'll, I'm literally just going to give them a sprinkle, enough to get them into the parlor, we'll call it right back. Um, certainly to a kilo, and I'll keep a kilo up anyway, just since they are all heifers and want to keep the condition on them, like that, you know. Um, but three kilos is where we are at the moment. So we're coming from probably one of the worst uh, fodder crises in living memory. So I, I suppose silage, um, the silage supplies for the coming year, I said, are, are the, the hot topic. And uh, we are lucky that I suppose we're a little bit under stock. We're still bu building numbers, so I'm in a good position to build silage reserve for for the coming year. Um, I, I absolutely any chance I can get, I will be taking out bales like that and. Uh, the lollas, even if you didn't use them yourself, the lollas the always be a market for them. But um, absolutely, it, it's uh, the security going into a, 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 a winter like that. Uh, fodder security is paramount like that. I think nobody wants to go through what some fellas went through this year. I, um, I was at um, a Glambia horse at um, Yone's discussion and. Uh, it kind of, I suppose, it alarmed me. I suppose the the, the potential of these, of especially on is once it gets into a herd, and it's probably it's in most herds a certain level of it. So I signed up that day to the the bull tank uh, screening disease screening program, and uh, we got back a report last week, and thankfully we were vaccinating here for IBR and. Um, Salmonella, um, nothing else so far anyway thankfully but we got back a report last week and I found it very useful, we were negative on most, it was a, a very low level of um, um, lungworms, like a very low level but so we, we absolutely will, it's going to be done four times over the year, we will we will base our, I suppose, our dosing and our vaccination program on what, what comes back from that and I suppose it, it, there will be a bigger picture, a better picture built up over the course of the year, I think it's four tests is done over the course of the year so I suppose it's a bit early to say but as the season goes on we certainly will um, be, it'll be a very useful tool